Hello again. I mentioned before that people often get in touch with me via my website. Sometimes this is to do with journalism, interviews and so on, but more often it's connected with this channel. For example, I've been exchanging emails recently with a guy who got in touch with me out of the blue. He used to live in the same district where I grew up, which is Seven Kings, near Ilford. He just wanted to say how much he liked this channel and agreed with a lot of what I've said here. He also mentioned that he moved out of Seven Kings because it was turning into a shithole and mentioned what he described as third world minded minorities there. Shocking, no? Typical gammon, baby boomer type. Except, of course, he's the son of Indian immigrants. Hindu, I'm guessing. The problem for a lot of white people, you see, is that they see visible minorities as some monolithic block, which is bizarre. It's not only right-wing racist to have this perspective, I observe it just as strongly in left-wing people who view themselves as allies, as they call it. What I often notice about such people is that for them, ethnic minorities are essentially an abstract idea. Most Guardian reading liberals are fervently anti-racist, they think of themselves as being on the right side of history, and they're always ready to protest about what they see as prejudice. The only thing is, though, many of them have never actually even been in the home of an ordinary working-class black family. Nor have they ever been to the home of a Hindu or Muslim, and they've never had those people visit their homes either, and they've never visited a mosque or temple or gurdwara, or indeed had any actual contact with real members of any visible minority other than shopkeepers or perhaps people with whom they work. This is why I say that for them, people of Indian heritage or Africans are really an idea. They are something they've read about in the paper or seen on television. Their friends are all white. They do not distinguish between Saletis and Punjabis or Gujaratis. They know nothing about the Igbos in Yoruba nor about the historic enmity between them which culminated in the Biafran War, the legacy of which is still with us, of course. For them, these people are all Nigerians. The ignorance of many of these types is appalling, especially so as they project a smug and self-satisfied air because they are self-declared supporters of Black Lives Matter, decolonisation and so on. The Good Lord, preserve me from the middle classes to which these folk almost invariably belong. As I dare say some of those watching this will know, people come up to me in the street sometimes because they recognise me from here. Most are white, but there have been men from Sudan, Pakistan, uh, one or two Jamaican men, or should say Jamaican heritage. I've got on fine with them all and had perfectly interesting and good conversations. It's white liberals who loathe me, and I find this both curious and amusing. <laughs>